And, and um, Mrs. Flynn. Right. We're giving this podcast thing a try for the first time, so give us give us some feedback on how, how we do. We're going to look at question seven from your sequence and series test. All right. An arithmetic series has the sum of the first seven terms of 63 and the sum of the first 20 terms, 440. Find the general term for the sequence. Well, how in the world are we going to do that? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it gives us the sum. So which equation are we going to use since it's arithmetic? Perhaps the, the summation equation. So mm -hmm. I could say S7, which I know is 63. And that's going to be, if I use my summation equation, well, that's n over 2, so 7 over 2. Parentheses 2. U1. What's U1? Uh, hmm. I don't think we know that. So what is just, U1? Let's just keep U1. Plus n minus 1, which is 7 minus 1. D. What do we use? What's D? Hmm. I don't think I know that one either. All right. Well, I got two variables then. I got two variables, one equation. Hmm. That's okay. That's okay. Well, it's only okay if I can get another equation. Is there other information get another equation? The sum of 20 terms. Sum of 20, I know, is 440. So if I plug that into n again, I get 20 over 2. Oh, Ooh. and then 2u1, which I still don't know, plus 20 minus 1. D. D. All, All right. right. So now I have two equations and two unknowns. So we can use? Our simultaneous equations. All right. All right. So here, let's take 63 is equal to... Hmm. Well, let's just get rid of that 7 halves. Okay. How, what do you, how do you want to do, do that know. Let's one? take 63 and divide it by 7 halves. Okay. Well, while you're doing that calculation, I'll erase my 63. Carefully, I will. All right. Oh, I get 18. Go. 18. So 63 divided by 7 halves is 18. So that 7 halves is gone, right? So I have mm -hmm. 2u1 plus 60. 60. Oh, these are all even. Let's divide everything by 2. So I get 9 is equal to u1 plus 3d. So here is my first equation, all nice and simplified. Okay, call it number one. Second one, I get 440 is equal to 20 um, over 2. Let's just divide that by 10. I can do that one in my head. That's 20 divided by 2 is 10. And so 44 is going to be 2u1 plus 19d. Okay, now, those are not all even, so I'm stuck with it as it is. I've got my simultaneous equations. How would you like to do this one? I want to use the one with the 2u and the 2u. Okay, so let's... I always like to multiply by negative numbers so yeah, that I can add, because if I have to subtract, I always mess up my sign. So I'm going to multiply that equation by negative 2, which will give me negative 18 equal to negative 2u1 minus 60. Make sure I don't make any careless mistakes. I'm nervous doing all this on, <laughs> on, on the podcast for the first don't time. Don't be nervous. All right, so I have 44 minus 18. 26. 26. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> edit undo. Edit undo. <laughs> edit undo. Uh, I think you can edit undo. Edit undo. Go back. Oh. <laughs> Okay, 26. That was a close call, everyone. Good for entertainment value. Okay, 19 minus 6. 19 minus 6. That's 13. 13D divided by 13. Oh, so easy. I already know. Okay, so I get D is equal to 2. And undo. And undo. What am I doing? Okay, so we undo. Undo. Do. Oh, it just moved that. Oh, oh, I, right oh I know what I'm doing. I'm right clicking. And now I'm all. <laughs> 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 all right, let's un see if I can undo that one. Oh. Okay, here's two. Here we go. 
All right, so D is 2. Okay, so, so now, now to get U1, which will help get the general term, I can plug it into what I call the equation 1 up here. Mm. So I can say 9 equals U1, oh, U1 plus 3 times 2. So U1 then, I get 6, bring it over. 3. U1 is 3. Okay, so now can we write our equation? All right, we have D, we have U1. The general term, that's UN, is equal to 3 plus, well, I N minus 1, and D is 2. Can we leave it like that, or do we have to simplify? Mm, I think you could leave it like that, but right. let's go ahead and simplify okay. just for Make it look nice and tidy. Fun of it. But that answer would be okay. So I get 2 n minus 2, distributing the 2, and so my final answer is 1 plus 2 n. Nice job, Mr. Rose. U n. All right. I think you'll get all six marks for that one. Nice. Great. Seven marks. Seven marks. Seven marks. Thank you. That's, we're going to sign off the first podcast of question seven. Oh, how do I do that? Oh, stop.